the awareness that you as a spiritual being are always creating, creating, creating. You're creating with your thoughts. So let me tell you this. If you're going to do work as a psychic and intuitive, you want to be as open as possibly as you can. And you want to be worldly if you can. So you want to make sure that your thoughts are open to receiving. And doing this work as a psychic, you want to be open to whatever happens and really to your clients, you want to be able to let them know this work as well, that they'll come to you desperate. They'll come to you needing things. They'll come to you really wanting to hear certain things. You, you can't give them. You can only give them what you get. You cannot force things. So if you can give the awareness to them that thoughts are things, they're responsible for their thoughts, and that they can indeed have whatever they want as long as they do the correct universal ordering in these formulas, that's perfect. So when you're into the psychic work and you're teaching this, you want to be aware that you as a psychic instructor, you as a psychic, really an intuitive, you wear many hats. You wear the hat of the uh, the teacher, the hat of, of the religious person, the inspirer, the magician. You want to do all of those sorts of things. You're, you're holding that energy for people. So it's important, number one, that you know how this formula works. And in order for your business to even evolve, if you will, if you're an intuitive business, a psychic business, you yourself want to see your business flourish. You deserve to. It's all energy. It's what you do with that energy. So you can see a business growing. You can be one of the best, most intuitive, well-known people out there. And that would be, let's say this way. Let's say you're the most intuitive person. You're really psychic. You're known worldwide. Great. You got your wish. But what good is that? if you didn't help anyone. So there's a difference. So you want to be aware of the full scope of things and you really want to be mindful that this is a work of service. And you're doing it to, in, to enable people, to bring people up, not disable, bring them up, empower them. That's what it's for.